the other day. Yeah. I've been busy. I've been real busy lately. But I've been doing everything for, for the better interest of people. Mostly sometimes, yeah, and I just sit there and I, I look at the, how life is right now and it's crazier than shit. Right now okay. especially. And I look like shit. You look great. You're talking about because of COVID or because of other things? I've got COVID. You have it? Nope. They told me I don't. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what COVID is anymore. <laughs> None of us do. <laughs> but I did. Oh, guess what I found today? What did you find? Are you, are you recording me right now? I'm, I am, yeah. Okay. I found this thing. It was a blue uh, crab. And it had little stickers like that, 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 that Asian um, snake. Ooh, it's um, testicles thingies. Oh God, the little uh, pinchers, like the snake. I said, God damn it, <laughs> I've seen everything in life, but this is some sick shit. That's why I don't get in the ocean over my, my hip. You won't find me in there. Only if I'm on a boat. When's the last time you've been in the ocean? It's been a minute. And I think there it went. There's one of them. That one just a flew donkey right now. You spend your time during the day going where? Because you drift around, right? Yeah, so I, I stay with a friend, and it's all right there. You do? Yeah, but he, uh, everybody has that shit with the rat. I'm going to take it out today. It's gone. What's that? The rats. We're going to get rid of them today. Because rats? that's what it is. There are rats where you stay? I don't know what we have to do, but I can't close it up. I had to take him out. You hear me? I hear you. So we got to take it out because that does how you know if it goes in the bottom of your foot that somebody cut your foot. So I, one time, five years ago, seven years ago, I got bit in the county jail by a spider on the side of my head right here. And it boiled up like in a whole bunch of little bubbles, right? Like a little bu bubble, bubble, like um, that morning I woke up and I said, ow, it hurts so bad. Well. It was a spider that bit me. I didn't know what kind of spider. Then I was thinking, well, when I was a little girl at five years old, my grandma said, in the ceiling, I'd hear this tee, 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 tee sound, and it was like a beetle or some kind of a spider, right? In the attic, not the attic, but in the ceiling. Now, I don't know how, what the fuck it was, but it was something different. It wasn't of this, this, this. Yeah, yeah, it was a scream. It might go, and I would only hear it very often. Ruby, huh. where, where did you grow up? Garden Grove. Garden Grove, that's what we talked about. This I love time. Garden Grove. And I love all the people there. Your childhood was good? Everything was good. Everything was excellent. But then I met, I don't know, just jealousy. Jealousy, I guess, it's, it has to be that because I'm not gonna give up anything that I got for anybody. Like, I know, I know what I'm going through, it's for a reason, because God came and seen me. Jesus came and seen me, and I seen him two times. And he told me, you're, you're, God, you're, you're, you're a fucking bitch. He told me first, <laughs> that's the word you said. You fucking motherfucker. I said, why'd you say, fuck you, God, I said, like that, because I tell him like that sometimes. Fuck you, God. I'll tell him like that. Well, then I was talking to him, and then I said, well, what would you like, sir? And he said, a drink of water. And I said, what did you say, sir? He said, a drink of water. And I said, OK, I'll be right back. So I didn't know what to tell him. I said, do you have anything else to tell me? Am I, am I am OK, or am I going to make it to heaven? <laughs> he didn't answer me. I said, all right, Lord, it's nice to meet you. I said, I can't believe I just met the Lord. I said, but um, you are my father in heaven and you are my father on earth as well. And I said, um, I don't know what else to tell you, Lord. I, I don't know. I said, but I was bored. At the time I was bored. Like most people wouldn't sit there and no. I was like, dude, I'm out of here. So I knew I wasn't going back with water, right? So he comes like another day. And he's walking down the street. And I said, Lord, it was like a couple, maybe like four days later. 
I said, Lord, what are you doing walking this train again? I said, what the hell's wrong with you? Why don't you go back up to heaven where it's fucking, <laughs> why don't you? I said, I want to go. Oh, I asked him like this too, the first time. I said, dear Lord, it's up to you. If I said, nice to meet you. I said, but it's up to you if I can stay on earth or if I'm going to heaven with you, I don't know. And he said, I said, would you please grant me to stay on this earth right now? I said, I'm not ready to go yet home. And he, he didn't say nothing to me. I said, um, okay then. So I said, so he granted me my wish. Then, um, so the next time I met him, so he was walking this way and he said, you're a bitch or some shit. Uh, he said, you're a effing <laughs> And he kept on walking. And I was like, Lord, what's the what's matter? Are you mad at me? And then, so he kept on walking and he turned back around and he walked, started walking this way. And so I said, hey, something ain't right here. I said, you need to send angels to my Lord right now. Bring your best angels you got in heaven. I said, bring them down here and, and watch over my Lord. Something ain't right, because he's a human being, you understand? He really is. He just woke up from the dead and he can walk on water. And he's amazing to me. But, and he gives me everything I need. And, could ever want, but I don't know. And right now, um, I told him like this. I said, Lord, I said, if you, um, I said, send the best angels from heaven right now for my Lord, because something's not right. And the next thing I know, I look down there and he's walking and there's a football. There's a guy, he's a robot football and he's going like this, like back and forth, right? Just like wiggling, like, and I said, oh shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, you know? And um, yeah, so I know the Lord, I know, I know there's demons on this earth. I know I've seen them and I'm not high and I'm not this because in the drains I look and like it's a sucker fish holding this shit in us. If it's anything, it's that sucker fish they got from, from the ocean. And it's sucking and it's not letting shit come out, but it, it, it'll open its mouth, let it out. And they come out. But then I seen this trash bag one night. It's like a trash bag and millions, I swear to God, don't think I'm crazy, okay? Don't. Millions of rats was coming out of this bag. It's like a, a sack or something, right? And I said, that's not fucking possible. And, and we're looking and and I'm on this street and it's really going down. And um, it's the craziest thing I ever seen in my life. It's the most weirdest thing I ever seen in my life. And I don't understand. Yeah, just, I don't know. I don't, I don't get this. COVID, how weird to get rats. What's doing it? It's these poles. And if I can't shut them down, then I have no, I don't know how much longer I can live with this. Everybody else is living, so I'm gonna live. Cause I got good people on my team. No matter what, they give me my medicine. If even if it's a robot sitting in anything, they give me a shot or whatever I need at that moment. Or it's the Lord or, and then I, when I seen the devil, I was with Biggie Smalls. We were talking and I just came, we could read for it. I couldn't find him. I said, where were you? He said, on an island. I said, oh, yeah. He said, yeah. I said, all right, then you're, you're vacationing, huh? He said, yeah, whatever, yeah. I said, yeah, well, you're back here, though, so whatever. You want to stay here in your, your apartment? What do you want? What do you want? I said, why do you camp out here in this fucking shithole of a fucking desert? Why are we here? So why of all places, L.A. here, why can't we be in downtown L.A. where it's really fucking rough and shit, you know? Ruby, do you, what do you dream about? Do you, do you sleep even? I don't dream. You don't dream? Do you, I don't. Do you sleep? I just sleep. And when I sleep, I can, and somebody can kill me and I don't know it. I'll bet. My friend, he, he, he stabs me in the head with a knife and I'll go out for a minute. And he'll, he'll wake me up when he's pulling it out. <laughs> he's crazier than shit. He's my friend though. And he's a nut. He's a nut anymore. Well, when I told him, you're a killer, huh? He told me, yeah. <laughs> I said, just me, why me? Why do you always pick me to do that? He said, because I wanted to try it one time.
see if I could wake you up. I said, all right, then bro, you did it. So you did it again. And he said, I just had to chance myself one more time. I said, that's it, motherfucker. <laughs> no more times, okay? And he said, okay. But yeah, that's weird. Like life is weird how all these people are coming back. And I haven't woken one up for a while because I don't want to right now. I don't know, but I know I woke the Lord back up. He was dead. I know someone killed him. I know that for a fact. And, and um, I woke him back up. So, and there's girls and women that have died and they come by me and I'm just like, wow. And my friends, the first thing they do is they come and see me. As soon as they wake up, everybody comes and sees me. It's the weirdest thing I've ever met, seen in my life. Why I have that gift, I'll never know. Why God has picked me to be this, um, I don't know anymore. I'm like, I hate everything right now. Just because they picked, targeted me. And um, I never did nothing to nobody. I don't want to see my people and I'm going to. No matter where they're at, I'm going to find them. I don't care whenever I unlock that one door down in that cellar, wherever it was, 1,800 feet or 1,600 feet and underneath ground and there's one elevator up and one down, you wouldn't be scared. That must take like 10 minutes to get down to wherever you're going. Or even a little, little longer, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And to know that you're never coming out of that spot again, I couldn't do it to anybody. So I've learned a lot, like Cartel has always taught me. Because um, they have the best. They are the Terminator. I'm not lying to you. They have, they have cloned people. Thank God. Jesus showed me this big thing. It's like a cell. <laughs> and I said, well, how are you fucking stacking those motherfuckers? I asked him like that. How you stack them? I said, wow. I said, so you cloned every person that you know? And he said, yeah. So I said, you taught my dad how to do that shit, huh? Or what? 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 Because my friends, one of them right here, 17, 1677, he was born. Another one, Vicente Fernandez, he told me he was born in 1739. Um, I have a hermaphrodite friend. She was back in the, uh, I don't know, where they have big parades and there was big ass elephants, huge ones. And they're like little people, like like uh, the jubil not uh, the gypsy days, shit like that. And I'm just like, is this shit really real, or are they just fucking with me? Like, is this all really real? I don't know. You know, because I mean, I don't know. But today is the day. I said, today is the day it's coming out, no matter what. Because I found that blue thing. Now, if there's nothing else in my body, I got it. For sure I got it. So what, I asked this question of a lot of people that I interview. What, uh, what's the most important lesson you've learned? The most important lesson, um, always to study. Never stop learning. That's the most important thing. When I heard that, when I was like, I did, think I was five years old when I heard that, my teacher said, never stop learning. If there's anything, we'd go in class, she'd say, good, good morning, you never stop learning. Today, we're gonna learn. And I said, all right then. So like, yeah, I always am doing, and that's why maybe I have the worst case, maybe, but, Right now at this time, um, I had to get it all out. And then I gotta, then you gotta, then you gotta, soon as I get it out of me, and I tell you guys, sew up, go get some, um, you get a, 
what is that called? Um, um, super glue. And you glue up your inside. That's what you do. You glue it. With super glue, I swear to God, that's the only thing. Because it has to be fast. Because when I got the stitches in my head, when somebody hit me over the head with a brick real hard, it cracked my whole skull open. My skull still cracked. When did this happen? In Apple Valley a long time ago. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I can't explain it. Ruby, you're so fascinating. God, and I want it out so bad. It's like, why don't you just like fester out of there or something? It's this one. When I go outside, I'm gonna do it, watch. I'm gonna do it. All right, Ruby. Thanks for coming, coming by again. Yes, sir, brother. Uh, I'm not crazy. I haven't lost my mind. I'm not going to a mental ward. And, and I do this for him because I like my friend. He, he, I hate saying he's my friend because it's really scary life out there. And I hate that word right now, friend, because it's so scary for you guys. And when he, they locked you downstairs, I said, all right. That's whenever I said, I'll be checking. That's why I don't leave here right now. So my people, they're watching you at all times. And you'll be safe. I promise you that. I believe that. That's great to know. Yes, sir. Or I'm, I'm doing everything I can to protect you. Because I have my ways. So I know if you're in here, a lot of people, they can't do it no more. Even if it's upstairs, downstairs, I don't give a fuck what they try. Side to side, they can't keep you in here. <laughs> now that's what's weird. The equator's right across the street. Do you know that? The equator? The equator. <laughs> that door, listen to me, that door across the street, yep. it's hollow. The, the equator, it's right in underneath it. I don't know how they leveled the deck, but it's a hole all the way down and it goes around. I don't know how far in this thing, but it's right here. I swear by God on my life. I asked the, the wetbacks, right? I said, is it right here? And he said, yeah, because I, I found it one day. And he said, yes, it is. And I said, I found it finally. So the, the real, not the equator, but the, like in Baltimore little pit, Go down, 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 is right across the street. So if you need to dispose of any bodies, I tell them to drop it right there. <laughs> you right. get rid of everything. Thank you, Ruby. Yes, sir. Dude, that's the truth, brother. You hear me? You're always fascinated. I, will, I wouldn't lie to you. That's what, that's what they told me, and, and they're right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you hit me with that thing? You got a better one?